Senator Tulfo, you're Thank recognized. You. you have your five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. From where I'm sitting, I can see very clearly that uh, Yusek Sebastian is very stressed out. And <laughs> I don't want to add further to his anxiety by asking hard questions just like my uh, colleagues did. So is it, po is it possible, Mr. Chair, if there are people from the Bureau of Customs who are around, and I would rather direct my questions to them because I don't want them to get off the hook because uh, the Senate President a while ago did say na wala pa nakakasuhan sa smuggling ng sugar. So therefore, gusto ko magbato ng katalungan sa kanila tungkol doon sa sinabi ni uh, SP. Uh, are there the, the, people present from the Bureau of Customs? That's a relevant question, Senator May we ask the Committee Secretariat, are there resource persons from the Bureau of Customs now? No, Your Honor, none present yet. Okay. Were they invited? No, no. I mean, they can be invited to the next hearing, Your Honor, but, the but they're not present today. Neither were they invited. Senator Tulfo, they're not okay. around. Well, then, I have to ask you a question and maybe make a request, Yusek uh, Sebastian. Um, sorry, you're going to be off. You're going to be, you're, you're not going to like uh, my question, my direct question. Uh, to me, you seem to be a very smart guy, Tama. Uh, so many people vouch for your character. Marami ako narinig about you, even from the, from SP uh, Mig Subiri. Uh, and I was told na ikaw ay galing sa abroad. At uh, nakapag-aral ho ba kayo sa abroad? Yes, Your Honor. As a scholar, Your Honor. A scholar. Okay. Ano pong tinapos niyo po, sir? I got my PhD from Cornell University, Your Honor. Wow. PhD, Cornell University sa abroad. Okay. So that means you're a very, very smart guy, right? So if you're a smart guy, if I were you, I think it's better, it's high time na sabi mo na sa amin dito, huwag na tayo magpaikot-ikot pa kung sino yung manasa likod mo. Kasi nga po, sir, hindi ka naman po pipirma sa ibabo ng pangalan ng Pangulo ng Republika ng Pilipinas sa ibabo ng kanyang pangalan kung wala pong may utos sa inyo kung wala pong nasa likod nyo na malalakas ni mga tao. I think you're just trying to cover up something here. Get the monkey off your back. I think it's about time that you have to confess. I mean, because you're a smart guy, right? Cornell University, PhD, or you're just trying to outsmart us. That's why you don't, you don't want to tell us kung sino po yung mga nag-utos sa'yo. No, Your Honor, <clears throat> there's, there was nobody who post me or pressured me on, on this matter, Your Honor. Yung, pang, yung have, pangupag sa sign uh, sa ibabo ng apelido ng Presidente, sa pangalan ng Presidente, yung ba'y gawain ng isang scholar at may PhD sa Cornell University? No, Your Honor, I signed for the Secretary of Agriculture based on the authority that was given to me on July 15, 2022. Who, who gave Honor. you the authority, sir? The authority was a uh, the memo was issued by the executive secretary by authority of the president, Your Honor. Okay, but did you ask the executive secretary about that memo to make sure that you can sign on his, on his behalf? Sa iba po, pamandi ng kanyang pangalan? Presidente po pinag-usapan natin po, ah, hindi po yung ordinaryong kawani ng gobyerno. The, so, the memo, Mr. Your Honor, states that uh, I can sit as ex officio chair of boards, committees, uh, Etc. Of, of, of any government agency where the Secretary of Agriculture is a member, Your Honor. And SRA, the SRA board is one of those boards where the Secretary of Agriculture sits as ex officio, Your Honor. So since the Secretary is the member and I am representing him more or less, I signed for the Secretary of Agriculture who is the President of the Republic, Your Honor. For the Secretary of Agriculture, right? That's what you're saying. But you signed above the name of President Bongbo Marcos. Yes, with, a, with an initial for, Your Honor. That, that's why I'm going back to what I said earlier. Is that, is that an act of a very, very smart person? Because hanga po ako sa inyo, yung credential po, napaka impeccable. Okay, di po ba? Now, kung smart po kayo, hindi niyo po gagawin yun. Ang magagawa lang noon, yung pipirma po sa ibabo ng Pangalan Presidente ay people who are dumb or stupid. And you're not stupid, right? I don't think so. You don't look like stupid to me. You look like a very smart guy. Kaya lang, ayaw mo lang magsalita kasi nga meron kang pinagtatapang mga grupo o tao. 
I think yung po observations ko. Wala ho, Your Honor. Nakikita ko po yung paa nyo pag ganun-ganun na po. Ninerves ka na. Sige na po. Uh, hindi ko na po dadagdagan yung anxiety ninyo. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Sana po, Mr. Chair, sa next uh, hearing, ma-invite po natin yung mga taga-Bureau of Customs. Uh, kasi nga po, Mr. Chair, uh, nakikita ko po, yung mga taga-Bureau of Customs, they are very relentless in the fight against uh, smuggling sa sugar and all. Uh, and I have to commend them for that. On the other hand, ang tanong, bakit nakalabas yung mga asukal na yon, Yung mga hoarding na tinatawag nila, nakalabas ng pier. Sana, hindi na nakalabas yung kinagawa lang sana ng customs, yung kanilang trabaho. Diba? And then from what I've heard, itong pinakalatest, yung sugar sa Subic, ay uh, meron palang permit yun. Uh, your, uh, Mr. Chairman, Your Honor. So, dito sumablay ang mga Bureau of Customs. Uh, ano bang pangalan itong uh, Chairman? I mean, uh, Commissioner ng uh, Customs. This guy, he opens his mouth before he would even look at the documents available. He could have asked uh, people in his office mag-provide ng E2M documents, documents from their system, para masiguro niya na kung legit ba o hindi yung mga produktong i-rate nila. I think what he did, uh, this guy from Bureau of Customs, para ma-divert yung attention natin. Meron kasi tayong serious attention. Ito na nga yung SO4. Ngayon, para ma-divert yung attention natin, rate sila left and right, bahala na ang Diyos para yung ating atensyon ay mapunta doon sa smuggling versus doon sa SO4 na sino nag-utos kay Yusek Sebastian Pumirma. So I would appreciate it really, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, if we could invite a member of the uh, Bureau of Customs, especially uh, this guy, uh, the Commissioner, I forgot his name. Uh, I would really like to talk to him uh, kasi uh, mukhang uh, mahilig itong magpadalos-dalos. And uh, again, there's nothing wrong na mag-grade siya na mag-grade. Go ahead, pero dapat pag nag-grade siya, tinatansya niya na muna at alam niya yung ginagawa para wala naman maabala mga tao, walang napapahiya. Yun na po, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So, may we recognize now the Senate President. Marami salamat po, our dear Chairperson, Senator Tolentino. We are conducting this hearing to see if we have any malfeasance or malfeasance, usurpation of authority, or what have you, illegal acts uh, identified under the Grafted Corrupt Practices Law Mr. Chairman, particularly on this issue on SO4. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to, first of all, at the onset of my statement, say that Yusek Sebastian is a well-respected member of the agri-community. I just came from Los Baños celebrating the 100 years of UP Ranchers Club. Ako po ay member ng rodeo team dyan. At lahat ng kausap ko po doon, kaibigan niya po si Yusek Sebastian as nothing but I praise for the gentleman. So I feel that uh, the conduct of the USEC on this particular issue was not his and his alone. That's why my, my question, Your Honors, is sino po talaga umudyok sa'yo na kailangan po natin mag-import? I mean, you're new to the industry, Your Honor. You, you're new to the department. Am I correct? You're less than one year in the department? You're just a few months old, no? Is that correct, you said? Your, your Honor, I've been with the Department of Agriculture. You remember, Your Honor, I was an executive director of the Philippine Rice Research Institute, and you visited one yeah. time the okay. rice. Okay, because I only have five minutes before my chairman <laughs> might... Uh, I just rejoined, I just rejoined. President, you have the... I rejoined in 2021, Your Honor, the government service after coming, working abroad, Your Honor. Yes, so you're not... A, you're not an... Um, a newcomer when it comes to helping the agri sector. And actually, we welcomed your appointment at the time when you were newly appointed once again as a member of the Department of Agriculture. However, Your Honor, you're new to the industry. I believe you're more of a livestock, poultry, uh, rice, uh, and rice. rice. That's correct. So you're new to the sugar industry. So there must have been external factors to convince you to import this uh, or to sign sugar importation order. Was it the administrator, his uh, co administrator his uh, members of the board, who somebody had to convince you? You cannot just sign the order without them showing you uh, uh, the data, particularly on uh, the lack of sugar supply. Am I correct in saying that it was the administrator and the board or who in the board 
uh, convince you about this sugar order number four? Your Honor, you mentioned that I, I work in the agriculture sector in the R&D specifically, and I'm, I'm very, for me, Mr. Your Honor, data is very important for me in making decision. So I studied the data that uh, was presented to me by SRA. We also did our own data analysis in the Department of Agriculture, and it convinced me, Your Honor, because I always make my decision also based on those things, that there is really a big problem when it comes to the supply of sugar that we have to act or do something, Your Honor. Okay, so, you said you're saying that you're utilizing the data. data. I have with me here this document coming from the SRA insiders themselves. The data is very clear. I do not know if they hid this from you. I do not know if you're familiar. The data is very clear. Under the former sugar order number three, which they imported, allowed the importation of 200,000 metric tons, there is still a balance of almost 126,000 metric tons that have not been released. This is as of August 12, huh? that have not been released yet. So what shortage are we talking about? They're going to release itong asukal na ito. And if I may be allowed, may we ask the sec, nandiyan na, ready na ba yung aking tao? Papakita ko lang sa inyo, yung bude-budega na parang, da, parang mga dagat ng asukal. It's just a sea of sugar that have been apprehended in the last uh, few days in bodegas all over the country. Please go ahead there, uh, Jess. Pakita mo. Yan. Asukal yan. Dahan-dahan lang. Yan, galing sa container. Ayan pa. Yan, parang dagat ng asukal. Sea of sugar. These are container vans. They have sugar hidden in them. Ayan, sec. That's not made up. I'm not making this up. That was from the BOC. ESAP. The last few days, different bodegas from Quezon City, Laguna, Bulacan, Pampanga. Sige, may video pa. Saan ba yung video? Gusto mo pakita pa namin yung video. Is this a shortage? Is this the shortage that you're saying? Your owners in the DA. Ayan. Ano yan? Are we pretending that that's not in existence? Is that being hoarded for price manipulation? Oh, let's show the video, if I may be allowed by my dear colleagues. One minute lang yun. Just can we show the video I sent you, if it is ready. Pinasuka nila. Meron pang ano, Mr. Chairman. Meron pang mga makina na ililipat nila from imported sugar to locally manufactured sugar para to escape the taxes. Importation taxes. Pati yung VAT tax, payment ng VAT, kasi syempre yung local sugar, may preferential treatment yun. VAT exempt. Just ko po, your honors. So you're talking about data, your honor. This is the data I have from the SRA. Meron pong, meron pang asukal na naiwan sa bodega. Meron pang parating na almost 30,000 metric tons. Tapos meron tayong laman sa bodega, Yusek. How can you explain that? So what shortage are we talking about? That's why I'm saying, Yusek, no? I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. Kasi nga, you're new to the industry. I am asking you now, sino talaga ang nag-push sa'yo, nagsabi sa'yo, Yusek, we need to do this. Was it the butlers? Was it the stakeholders? Was it one of those individuals in the SRA? Was it a particular importer? Or was it just your own decision? Because I can't believe it was just your own decision, your honor, because again, you're a stickler for data. I have the data right here which contradicts what you said. I have the pictures of the tunay tuniladang 100 plus thousand metric tons of sugar in the bodegas. So, what is it, you say? Your Honor, you mentioned we have 180, 123,000 metric tons. Our monthly consumption for raw sugar, Your Honor, is 170,000 metric tons per month and 80, 85, approximately 85,000 metric tons per month for refined sugar, Your Honor. So 123 can last for how many days, Your Honor? And based from the data that we have, SRA and DA, Your Honor, 
we will need about 212,000, we will have a deficit of 212,000 metric tons for raw sugar, Your Honor, even if the milling has started in September and October. It is only in November that we will be able to produce enough raw sugar to meet our demand. For refined sugar, Your Honor, we have a deficit including, for, for example, Your Honor, including the SO number three, Your Honor, because of the in, because of the demand that we have, we have a we have a deficit of about 319,000 metric tons, Your Honor, up to December because we don't produce enough refined sugar. So, Your Honor, if you see those data, it it is very compelling, Your Honor, that and if you look at the prices, Your Honor, prices do not just go up because of hoarding. There is hoarding when there is a tight supply, Your Honor. And there is a smuggling also, Your Honor, if there is a tight Your Honor, supply, Your Honor. Mr. Chairman, precisely the hoarding is the price manipulation. There, you're saying there's a tight supply, but we have supply. Yan ang mahirap sa DA po. I'm, I'm, with due respect to my dear friends in the DA, with due respect, I'm an agriculturist by education and by profession. Kaya mal ko kayo. Pero... Parang business as usual, hindi na wawala yung hoarding. Frustration po namin ni Senator Villar. Wala pong nakakasuhan pa sa illegal smuggling at hoarding. Hanggang na yun, wala naman tayo nakikita. Pero yan, nakita na po natin. They're shouting supply. Release that sugar. Hindi naman yan gumagalaw eh. 